Welcome back to Champion News Talk Radio, brought to you by championnews.net. This is Carol Parisi with our founder, Jack Roser. And today, Jack and I are speaking with Jim Edwards. And Jim is going to tell us a little bit more about how you actually sift and sort these candidates and some areas that you're looking at and things of that nature. We, uh, we have a six-page candidate background information form. We have them fill out. And one of the pages is a SWOT analysis that okay. helps us and helps them. SWOT analysis, which SWOT stands for strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats. It helps the candidate just as much as it helps us. And we, we do some background checks on them. We check their voting record, especially in Chicago. You know, um, somebody decides to run as a Republican. We look to see if they are a real Republican or maybe they've been a Democrat all their life and they're changing and it's legitimate or maybe they're a plant. We have to discern those things. In Chicago, I mean, there aren't too many Republicans that are uh, have the, the backbone. Uh, there didn't used to be a lot of Republicans, I think, that had the backbone they're, to run. They're beginning to stand up. They are. And they're yeah. coming out of the woodwork. In fact, there's going to be, there could be 30 or 40 candidates running on the Republican ticket. Why do you we're think not that recruiting. is? Some of them are recruiting. Some of them are just are sick and tired of what's going on. Some in of them are your father's Democrat, legitimate Democrats that in the past had uh, decent family values. That's right. uh, way too many of the Democrats today are just part of the crooked mess that's famous throughout the whole world. Uh, that, uh, you know, if you want to have a long uh, life, uh, come to Chicago, you can continue. Uh, voting after you're dead. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, the whole world knows it's a joke and it isn't a joke. Yeah, uh, but that's uh, true. a lot of Democrats have memories of a better day when they did stand for something and they're going to find a home in the Republican Party along with the Tea Party people just like Reagan did. Yeah, well, those Ronald Reagan Democrats, we definitely... Uh, now, if, if someone is running, if any of our listeners are thinking about running for office. Is it too late to contact you? No, it's not, but they need to make a decision pretty soon because they only have, what, five weeks to get their signatures on the petition. Petitions, <clears throat> right. So they need to get going. And um, But but no, uh, it's open. One thing good about the process is, is we don't pick the candidates like maybe the Democrats do. We let anyone that wants to run, but we're picky about the people that we're gonna support. Obviously, they have to have think right. We're bringing sophistication and hopefully some money uh, to the effort to buy all these Tea Party people to get elected to things, starting with uh, the uh, uh, precinct committeemen, absolutely, uh, school boards, absolutely, and on up. Uh, we helped in the last election, got a number of uh, state representatives and senator elected. We got uh, four. Congressmen elected that weren't supposed to be. These methods work. In the last election, they had, you might say, a pre flight. In this election, despite the manipulation of the districts by the Democrats, the Democrats have di tried to disenfranchise anybody that's Republican, and they sure. put together uh, cleverly arranged districts that are supposed to give the Democrats a big advantage. Well, uh, let's see if the value system of the Tea Party people and their fellow Republicans uh, can't defeat the Democrats, no matter how much they have distorted the thing uh, with coming up with really strange uh, shaped districts. And Jack, you talk about your father's Democrat. Yeah. We've had them come into our office here in Carpentersville and tell us they're not happy with the way the Democratic Party's gone. They're afraid of the left The leadership over. of the Democratic <laughs> Party absolutely stinks. And they are coming, and they're coming out of the woodwork telling us about all the corruption going on in Chicago. They sense some change coming. And I think there's going to be a lot of interesting things happening in the not-too-distant future in terms of people going to jail and corruption charges mm -hmm. and on and on and on in the heart of the beast, which is Chicago, Illinois. Well, that's you know, where Barack we have, Obama we, came from. We've gotten rid of some of the Republicans that weren't uh, uh, what they should be and uh, didn't represent the good platform of the Republican Party. Without naming all the names, uh, uh, there's uh, one on trial right now and, and his confederate uh, in uh, 
their uh, company, uh, that uh, they got, these guys got very rich as Republicans, but they're running dogs along with the main Democrats who have really corrupted the state for a long time and are in charge of the city and the governorship and the, and the House and the Senate. They own the whole shooting match and they are responsible for the bankruptcy the and, the, and the reputation for crooked politics. And uh, there sure. are a lot of the older Democrats are going to finally run as Republicans or vote Republican that were frightened to do it before. Because the yeah. Democrats are very vengeful of any businessman in Cook County or Chicago that uh, contributes money to a Republican candidate. Even all the Democrats that aren't running for something that are coming to us and telling us about ghost payrolls, about all kinds of shenanigans going on. It's really fascinating what's going on in there. And it's uh, something is going to shift here pretty you soon. You were downstate last week uh, interviewing a lot of candidates uh, all over <coughs> the place. And uh, I think you had a trip down there where you expressed it to me. You ran into a bunch of interesting people. Oh, well, there are. And, and in, in the Metro East area, you know, of course, Jason Plummer just announced he's running for the last congressional district that's not owned by a Republican outside of Cook County. And um, that will give us an opportunity to uplift a lot of these other candidates down there that are running. And there's some excellent candidates down there. Uh, we've got great opportunities all over the state of Illinois. And folks, we need help. We need help to help fund their campaign. So you can send your contributions to the Republican Renaissance Pack at 8 East Main Street, Carpentersville, Illinois. Thank you.